Okay, so this is an example of a differentiated um, project or a differentiated thing that I did in my cybersecurity class. So this is under week four. Um, and you can see that I have three different groups in here, um, group A, group B, and group C. So um, group, the, the uh, students got divided into groups or got assigned what they did based upon the week three summative. So every week in this class, it, you see the week three sum, uh, week three project. Right down here at the bottom was the week three summative. Um, and then I took a look at the students, um, how they did on this assignment. Um, and based upon, um, based upon how they did, I divided them into groups, um, specifically the learning targets. So um, I saw students that needed help with um, passwords in particular. Um, passwords was kind of one of the themes of the last summative. Um, so any student who struggled or got a question wrong with passwords um, was automatically put into group A. Um, and then group C down here, phishing was another learning target. So basically picking passwords and then identifying phishing emails. So if a student missed any questions on phishing or phishing an email, they were put into group C. Um, now group B, this is for um, students who um, were not put into either group A or B. This is almost the more extension activity. Um, and again, I tried not to do like the extension activity is in group A or C. So the extension activity was in group B. So students who have mastered both like picking passwords, password managers, those types of things, um, they got put into group one and then phishing in group three. These were both um, learning objectives from the previous week. And then here is our um, the extension activity for those who have mastered those things already. So, yep, uh, just a little quick DI thing uh, that we did in uh, cyber this week.